Morning. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. I'm Karen Griffiths and I have Simon on camera. Hello. And we're going solo again, Simon. I know, it's exciting, <laughs> isn't it? Carol's busy doing all the work in the office, so we're going solo again today, so please bear with us. So while we're waiting for our audience to build up, how was the live last night? I know we had a little bit of a technical difficulty, but didn't Laura do well? She sailed through it and little Holly, bless her, she was asking all the right questions and, and giving all the right answers and I thought they did really well. Um, my daughter loves fudge and marshmallow and it's one recipe she says she's going to be trying this weekend. I do hope you all are going to have a go at it as well. So weather's lovely. What do you yeah. make, Simon? It's uh, sunshine's coming out just in time for Saturday because today is Friday and we've got the weekend off. I don't, oh. I don't, is it going to be nice? I've got the weekend off. Have you got the weekend off, Simon? Or are you working tomorrow? I've, I've got to work tomorrow, <laughs> yes. <laughs> because Carol is on Cake Flicks. She's going live at 8 o'clock on the Cake Flicks page. So please tune in and join her. So how are we doing there, Simon? I still just... haven't found it, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> so while we're still waiting, today I am going to be doing two tray bakes. I'm going to be doing a lemon spice slice and also... Uh, a vanilla latte cake, which is Carol's favourite, so I'll be showing you how hang to on, do these. On. Yeah, we're on. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. I've not been talking to fresh air. No. <laughs> As I sometimes do. <laughs> <laughs> I might talk a lot of fresh air. <laughs> so I've got quite a few things to let you know. Are we doing Simon? Yeah, go on. No, Carol, no, you no, crack no. on. Yeah, don't worry about me. <laughs> Make sure we actually were live, Sam and Sara. Yeah. So I'm just building up. I've just got a few things to uh, to let you know. Um, the PME airbrush is back in stock, and Carol, in her usual lovely self, has sweet talked the lovely man at PME into letting us have the three colours free again. So you're going to get the gorgeous PME airbrush, and also the three colours, which is the bronze the pearl and the gold and these will be a, a free gift for you if you purchase the airbrush. How are we doing there Sam? Are we still building? We've got 131 at the moment. Brilliant, so these are in stock so grab them while you can. I've got one, my husband treated me and I tell you what, it's a game changer, it's brilliant. I love it, I mean I've got an old airbrush but this has got no wires and it means I could I could go around the cake, I wasn't dragging the, the wire into the icing absolutely brilliant it's heavy and it's really good another new item that carol released last night she was telling you about on the live last night we have the little rollies now these are coming from the supplier and we're due to we're due to expect a delivery in about three weeks now it could be four weeks it depends on what happens at customs now what we're doing this time is to keep the price the same because uh, the air freight has been very expensive it's cost four and a half thousand pounds to get them air freighted over so we could get them in the three weeks rather than waiting sort of seven to eight weeks waiting for them to be shipped over which was only like a one and a half thousand so carol and john have been really good and they're getting it over quick they're keeping the prices the same which is going to be 22.99 but this time you're going to get the packet with the one handle in it and then you're going to get a packet of the refills. So you get one handle, you get six rolls, and that's for £22.99. Now these are available on pre-order only at the moment, and you will pay the full price. Now please read the terms and conditions and the description on the item, as Carol has really 
explained it that if you place an order and you put your little rolly pack in and add anything else to your order it's all going to be dispatched at the same time so it could be dispatched in four weeks time now you can't ring the office and say, oh, can you just send this out? Can you just send that out? We can't because we're that busy and with social distancing, we cannot retrieve your order to start sending out things differently. So if you do need other items quickly, then please place a separate order and just place the one order for your little rolly. And as soon as they come in, they will be dispatched to you. Now, I will repeat this later in case we have any people joining us a bit later on. But £22.99, you get the pack with the one handle and you get the refill pack with the three rollers. So you get one handle, six rollers, and you, to say the truth, you don't need another handle. You can just, because they come off so easy, you can just keep slipping another one on if you need to. They wash really good and then just wash them. Uh, and then when you've washed them in nice uh, soapy water and then give them a really good rinse, just stand them on a piece of kitchen towel on the flat side and just leave them to air dry and they dry really good. So I will repeat that again a bit later on. So that's the PME airbrush and the little rolly that's both in stock now on the website. Today, I'm gonna do two tray bakes. I'm gonna do a lemon spiced slice. Just move the PME for a drop it. Which I can show there, I think. Which I can. Down. This one is just the lemon spice slice I made earlier. Um, it's got it's got the cinnamon in it. It's got nutmegs. It's got sultanas. It's got lemon zest, lemon juice, and I've also used the sugar and crumbs lemon drizzle flavored icing. You only need a little slice. I'm just putting that because it is quite a nice rich cake, and I don't think you need to have a bigger slice than that. They're like a they're really they're like a Mr. Kipling slice, aren't they, Simon? They're, you know, like I think they're a, bit, a lot bigger than bit Mr. Bigger. Kipling. So, yeah. So this is the lemon spice slice which I'm going to go, I'm going to do it completely new for you and I'm also going to ice the other one I've got and I'm also going to do this, I'll just get the, the little latte cake. And they look, look a lot nicer than Mr Kipling. <laughs> I'm also going to, this is, this is Carol's favourite cake. It's her go-to diet cake when she feels like having a bit of a cheat and uh, she just fancies some cake with a cup of coffee. Now it's vanilla latte flavoured icing sugar throughout the whole cake and then we're going to drizzle some vanilla latte icing sugar just across the top so it's just all drizzled all over. Now as I said it's Carol's favourite cake, she has this when she's feeling like a little bit of a treat uh, as there's no buttercream on it, it's not double layered, it's a single layer piece of cake and it's just nice. The only thing is Carol usually eats the bloody lot because <laughs> she loves it. I must admit, what, what did it smell like in the kitchen this morning? I and mean, it smelled oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. Like that, it yeah. came into like a coffee lemony essence. It was really nice. So I'm going to be icing this one for you, and then we'll be leaving that to set, and then that will be uh, cut up later to show you. But I'm also going to make it fully for you as well. So, Simon, what shall I start with? I think I'll start by... Start with butter? I don't know. No, what I'm going to do is, because I want it to set. Here's a lemon. This is the... Oh, see, see what, I'm going to do a carol because it broke while I was putting it onto the board. Oh, no. So what I've are you to, doing? I know. So, you know, we always say we fix it. Anything, we can fix it. So this is the lemon spiced slice. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix the icing now and put the icing on it so that it's setting so that when I cut it later you can see how nice it is cut and then I'm going to make the whole cake from scratch for you. In a bowl I've just put 12 ounces of the lemon drizzle sugar and crumbs natural flavoured icing sugar. I'm going to add just enough water to make it into a thick paste as you don't want it to run all over the side, I want to spread it with my palette knife. When this is made up, I'm just going to leave, I, usually we just take a little bit out and colour it yellow. But as I was making this cake before, I've already took a bit and I've already coloured it yellow, just for the top to make the, oops, you see what I mean? <laughs> Don't worry, nobody saw that. <laughs> nobody saw that, thank you. I've just covered just the top, just so I can put the yellow stripes on it. 
What am I like? Butter fingers. So it's coming together nicely. As I say, you don't want it to be like a really runny icing. You want it to work uh, so you can spread it nice. You warm, Simon? I'm all right. I think I'm having a carol. Can I have the door oh, open? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going really warm. But I have got both ovens on as well. I mean, I only need a couple of minutes, Simon, honestly. Oof, thank you. And only for five, only for five minutes, I just want to cool down. So I've got a nice thick consistency ice in there now. I'm just going to bring that in. This crap will soon be hid by the icing. So you want to have quite a nice thick layer on it. Now it won't matter if it does drizzle over the sides a little bit because it just always looks nicer drizzled. Oops. Be very careful because it's quite crummy on the top. So be really careful when spreading it that you try not to get any crumbs. So what did you put in there? This is just lemon drizzle, uh, natural sugar and crumbs, natural flavoured icing sugar. I love this one. And how much water is in it? As just enough. You just put it in little bits at a time to make a stiff icing. Because you don't want it to be really, really runny. It doesn't matter if it runs over the side, but you don't want it to be water effect, you know, water effect. Is it water effect? Like a glass of icing. Can't believe I've got it. Never mind. Try to hide it now. So you're looking for a drip, dripping effect down the sides? If if it happens, yeah, it doesn't, right. if, honest to God, if it drips down the sides, it doesn't matter because you're just going to have a little bit of extra ice in there. Did I bring a fork over? No. That was what I put in the wash. So then what I'm going to do now, because I'm trying to make the feather effect, I've got the same, I've got yellow icing, I've used the, uh, I've used the um, Colour Splash lemon colour and I've done it quite a nice bright lemon there, haven't I Simon? It's lovely and bright, yes, very vibrant. So then just an inch apart, I'm going to just do some lines. Very neat lines, Karen. I'm trying to think, we're very steady this morning, aren't we? Yeah. You've not had too much coffee, have you? <laughs> right, hopefully this will work. So the icing is, the yellow's gone into there, and then you just get a fork, and I'm just going to very lightly come down. Can you see the feather effect? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe the fork every time. How's that look, Simon? Looking fantastic, yes. So, I've just got, so as I said, don't, it doesn't matter if the icing drips down because we can get rid of that bit off the, uh, the board later, but it doesn't matter if it's gone down the side of the cake because for the people having the outside bit, it's just a little bit of extra icing. So that is how you've decorated. You can leave it plain if you wanted to, or you could do your own pattern on top. It depends entirely up to you. So I'm going to put that to one side for it to set, so then once it's set I can cut it without getting crumbs everywhere. Quick wipe down. And that's the first cake that I'm going to make now. How's the, how's the audience doing, Simon? Are we still over 100? Sunglasses on, Simon. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Was it very bright, my cake, my lemon? Oh yes, yeah. yes, that was it, yes. <laughs> Sorry Debbie, I, I, I was... <laughs> I'm just trying to wake him up on this Friday morning. Yeah. Right. It's been a long week. <laughs> 
So for the lemon spice slice cake, which the recipe is on the on the website now, it's under lemon spice. I'm going to put a D on it later. So it's under lemon spice slice. So if you go to our website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk and click on the recipes. Is that they do? There's, well, the, there's our website. It's not that high. <laughs> it's just down here. <laughs> just here. Just here. Just, just, just there. No, there. Which, it's just in front of that bowl. Is it just here? Yeah. <laughs> right, so into the bowl here, I'm putting 154 grams of margarine. And I'm going to put in um, 77 grams of lemon drizzle flavoured icing sugar. I'm just going to mix. Do you want me to bring the mix onto the uh, side side? Wake the Everybody's telling me to wake up and have a coffee. I've got a coffee, look. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's decaf. Are we alright there for you, Simon? Yeah, I'm just going to Lovely, yeah. Okay. So I'm just oh, actually, just um, yeah. just pop it a bit to the that way. Yeah, that's better. All right, like that. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to turn this on. I'm just going to cream this up now so it's nice and fluffy. Margarine you're using? Margarine, yeah. straw, straw pesky right. I've used. But you can use any any margarine. You can use the, uh, the supermarket zone, but it has to be, it's, it's better to cut with margarine in a sponge and leave the butter for the butter icing. So into this bowl, I'm going to pop the 66 grams of wholemeal flour and 66 grams of plain, I've used plain flour. I've got 84 grams of rolled oats. I've got three grams of cinnamon and three grams of the uh, nutmeg. Both ground, ground cinnamon and ground nutmeg. So that's all, oh, uh, sorry, seven grams of baking powder. So that all goes into the one bowl that a quick mix around so it's all just mixed in. I'm just going to scrape my butter down the side now. Just to make sure that it's all getting mixed up nicely. No, I think they're all answering their own questions at the yeah, moment. That's absolutely fine. So you need two eggs. And you're going to add the egg a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, as well as adding the, uh, the flour mixture a little bit at a time. So I'm just going to put a couple of spoonfuls of the flour mixture into there and a little bit of egg. 
I'm just gonna mix that up. You can close the door now, you want to sign I've cooled down now. I don't want you to get like a snowman there. So I've just got that on the medium speed. I'm just making sure it's all mixing down and then I'm gonna scrape the bowl down again. Just make sure all the margarine is mixing into the oat mixture and the flour mixture. Can you smell them spices, Simon? Not making you sell them yet. Sorry, sorry, wrong one. Mm. Them... I don't know what you're trying to do there. It's because I'm used to having a mixer face in me and I know the handle's on the uh, right hand side, you know, for lifting it up. So that's mixing nicely now. So we'll just put the rest of the egg in. Just turn it up to medium speed, just give it a quick mix. So can you just go over the um so the, 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 what was in the flour mixture for yeah. um, for people who missed it or yeah, turned up late or right the whole you start off with 77, 77 grams of flavored icing sugar and 154 grams of margarine cream those together till they're nice and fluffy into a bowl you want to put 66 grams of wholemeal flour 66 grams of plain flour 84 grams of rolled oats just like porridge oats rolled oats uh, three grams of cinnamon and three grams of nutmeg and seven grams of baking powder. I've mixed all that together with a spoon, then I've put two eggs into a bowl and I've put some of the mixture and some of the egg, alternatively, into the bowl just to mix it all up so it's really well mixed down. So in that bowl now, we need to add six, uh, I think it's 77 grams of sultanas. They're just gonna go straight in. This is the good part now. You want to put in the juice of half a lemon. So I'm just going to squeeze the juice because I can take the pips out then as well. Just to confirm that is the juice of half a lemon. Juice of half a lemon, not yes. Not half the juice of a lemon. Simon. <laughs> Simon, it's Friday, please don't. <laughs> and then... You don't need to juice the other half. You can keep it in <laughs> you your fridge. You can keep the other half for your gin tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so then I also want the zest of half a lemon as well. Now, be very careful because I grated my finger before. It was very painful. I'm doing it this way because I'm not using the rest of this lemon now, I can put my fingers inside. really lemony you could um, you could put the you could put the zest and the juice of the whole lemon in if you wanted to I try and get an unwaxed lemon so you're not grating in the wax oh I never thought about that this isn't I think this was an unwaxed lemon I just picked up two lemons from Morrison yesterday So in that bowl is a zest of half a lemon and the juice of half a lemon. That's all going into the mixture as well. So make sure you get all that zest and lemon in there. And then just give it another mix up. You need to add four tablespoons of milk. I've greased 
and lined 12 inch brownie pan. but it doesn't matter this is how it's supposed to be uh, just put that into your brownie pan if you wanted to you could put it into a loaf tin if you wanted to make it into uh, low you know like into proper slices it doesn't rise it doesn't rise huge as you can tell because it's quite a dense cake mixture so it doesn't, it doesn't rise huge so it probably would be better in a shallow t in a shallow tin and then just spread it evenly into the tin now this is going to take about 30, 25 to 30 minutes in the oven on a 180 degrees C gas mark four. Keep checking it, but it comes out golden brown on the top and it's firm to touch. And you can also test it with your cake tester to make sure there's no uh, dough coming out on the, on the cake tester. I'm going to pop that into the oven now for 25 to 30 minutes. You doing all right there, Sam? Any questions? No. Right, we'll close that. So now we're going to make the vanilla latte cake. Now this is just like an ordinary sponge cake mixture, but it's made with a vanilla latte flavoured icing sugar rather than just normal sugar. So I have used a 200 gram mix. So I'm going to do 200 grams of margarine and 200 grams of, of latte flavoured icing sugar. until the margarine and the sugar is nice and fluffy. Now start it off slow. You don't want an icing sugar cloud everywhere. Uh, we've got an icing sugar cloud everywhere, Karen. <laughs> You're not kidding. Have you smelt it? It's a very nice icing sugar cloud. Mm. I'm just going to turn this up now. I'm just going to beat that for two or three minutes on high speed. And then what I have got, I've got four eggs and 200 grams of flour. Now I will put this recipe on the website as a vanilla latte cake, so you can actually just put that title in and you can go straight to it if you want to find out the, uh, the exact measurements. Wholemeal cho the wholemeal chocolate cake is now on the website. I was a couple of days late in doing that and I do apologise. And the, so that's on, the lemon spice slice is on, and then later on the vanilla latte cake will go on as well. That's whipping up nicely. Any other questions or have you got any questions, Simon? Uh, no. Uh... I'm just going to fill a bit of space here. So don't forget, for the, the, I'll just turn that, turn that down while I speak. So don't forget, the PME airbrush is now back in stock. 
uh, and you all the nice man from PME after Carol's very nice persuasive me uh, methods, uh, he's gave us three colours again. So you've got the gold, right, brilliant. Yeah. the bronze and the pearl and that's the free gift that will go with the airbrush. But as we say, we don't know if we get any more so once they've gone the, with the free gift, the free gift may be gone. We don't know if we'll get any next time. So they are in stock. Right, so that's nicely, that's nicely done to a nice cream mixture. Now, can you see that, Simon, all right? Am I all right there, like that? Yeah. So I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. And just do them onto a medium, a medium speed. So all the eggs incorporated. So Julie Wallace, yes. um, the the first cake we made was lemon lemon spice slice. Lemon spice slice. And, and this one is vanilla latte. Vanilla latte, yeah, vanilla latte sponge. Sorry, with latte. Latte. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going posh. Vanilla vanilla latte sponge with a vanilla latte drizzled icing over the top, which I will I'm going to do that next. Goes down a treat with a good cup of coffee or tea. up a little bit to make sure it's fixing in well. On a slow speed I'm going to add the flour. So it's plain flour was it, that? This is self-raising self flour. Self-raising flour, Claire. Yeah, this, this is self-raising flour because I'm not using any baking powder. flour back in stock again on our website and we've also got the 500 gram packs of yeast in as well. And I'm going to pour this into a 12 inch prepared greased and lined tin. Now you can make vanilla latte muffins if you wanted to out of this. You can just put it into your bun cases. I'm just going to spread that evenly into the tin, making sure I get into the corners. This is going to go, on, I'm going to do this one on the long and slow method, so I'm going to do this on 140 degrees C. For roughly around 40 minutes but do check it after 35 minutes and once it's firm to touch on the top and the cake tester comes out clear you know it's ready yes jade you can watch the show after as soon as it's finished you can watch it again it'll be on our facebook page and youtube now i'm going to pop this into the oven now 
140 okay. degrees C for around 35 to 40 minutes. But do check it because it could be 45, depends on how your oven works. It's a fan oven you're using as well, isn't it? Yes. So for those who haven't got a fan oven, it will be a little bit hotter. Will it? Or are you turning it down? If you haven't got a fan oven, I'd probably do it on 160. If you haven't. What are you doing it on? I'm doing it on 140. All oh, right. Yeah. This is ours is a fan oven. So I'm just going to have a look at that. That's maybe on 30 minutes. So 140 on the fan oven and 160 on a, a conventional oven. Move the mixer out of the way. Could you pass me a cake stand, please, Simon? Cake stand? Which one Just would you any, like? Anyone will do. Ah. Yeah, thanks. Just want to. Um, want, to take that. Just want to. Want me two ticks? Mm -hmm. Sorry for a little hum there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you carry on. I like it when you hum, Sam. It's uh, you keep. Your I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, my, do my sing song. <laughs> We're having a good discussion on the group about illnesses, and <laughs> <laughs> I have fibro as well, so I know what it's like. So Wednesday was was quite tough for me. Yes, with your, your back and your everything like that, you just you was hurting. My back's fine, you? yeah, no, yeah. I've been coccyx pain, oh. actually. Must admit, Carol was absolutely shattered, but she's been on yeah. me a lot, hasn't she? Right, I use back. This was uh, just rescuing the lemon drizzle cake there, so it's all nice and... Um, In this bowl, I've got roughly, uh, I think it was eight ounces of vanilla latte flavoured icing sugar. I'm going to put in enough water to make a, a stiff, like a stiff icing, but not because I don't want to cover the whole cake with the icing. I want to just do lines up and down it, so it's just like a drizzled effect. more water I'm just going to measure it on the spoon a little bit because I don't want to pour too much in. So which icing sugar are you using? Here? This is the vanilla latte one. Right. Just to go over the vanilla latte cake so it's a, a real nice coffee flavoured cake. into a piping bag and just snip the end off. If you can only wanted you could put a number uh, a number five tube in it, a, uh, the Wilson number five or um, a Wilson number four if you wanted to do the correct lines. I just want to cut a little bit off the a little bit off the end of the piping bag and I can just drizzle it across them. down to the bottom snip the end you know I've got some this somewhere Simon <laughs> can't see them I can't see them anywhere so I've just snip the end off there squeeze it up and I'm just gonna Go the 
another one. Simon. It's very nice. <laughs> Let's go go one more way now. And there we have a lemon, a, a lemon, there we have a vanilla latte drizzled vanilla sponge. Perfect for a lovely cup of tea, cup of coffee, as a quick, tasty, what me and Carol call, diet cake. <laughs> 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 because it hasn't got any butter icing. Well, it's if you have no, a very small piece. It's got no jam in it, it's got no butter icing, it's a single layer sponge. I'm sure we can fit this into our daily routine. So I've got that there. I've got my lovely lemon spiced slice, um, doo -doo -doo, which I'm going to cut for you now. So this one, I would say you could cut this one into. You could you could easily cut it into. Well, I've cut mine into twelve. I mean, if you wanted to make them smaller. You're more than welcome to make them small. You could cut that into 25. <laughs> Not if you want to taste it. Well, if you're calling it a diet cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to cut this here. It's just uh, still a little bit wet, the icing, so. That's a bit bigger piece. I'm just going to cut half. I'm going to let the other half set. So I've got half of it cut there. So it's quite. I would you say? I'd say that was a nice slice to have with a cup of tea, wouldn't you, Simon? Yeah. Except you can't eat it. Except I can't eat it. You can't eat it, Simon. Simon, poor Simon. He can't eat any of the cakes that we do, and we can't find we can't find gluten free flour yet, so we can't even do any gluten free. Yeah. So everyone would say there's no point having a small slice. There's absolutely they're not. I mean, you're going to have cake. Have cake. So I have those two there. So that's what we've made today. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh. What have you not done? What have I not done? I suppose to colour the icing sugar with koala. Oh. Oh no. And Carol likes it koala coloured. Well, you'll have to do that on the next one. <laughs> so please, you can colour your icing sugar with the colour splash, uh, the koala, and just make it into a nice caramelly, a, a latte colour. Which we, are you going to do that one, where you? Yeah, I was going to do this one with it like that, but well, never mind. You could do another, you know, another, another drizzle with it. I could. But then is it, is it not diet then if you put too much drizzle on it? You know, you know, who knows? Let's just cut that bit off like that. You know what? Just to show them what the colour looks like. Let's go for it, Simon. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's squeeze the icing. Into there, we'll add a little tiny bit of colour. Move that one out of the way. How, how little you're putting in there. That was a little, I just want to see what it looks like. You Because they say less is more, it's better to add it a little bit at a time because you can't take the colour back out. And I don't want to have it, I don't want to have it too dark, I just want it to be a nice latte colour. Which I think See, I must yeah, have. Yeah, you've done that. I think that was Bob on the yeah. tiny, tiny pinhead spot bit. Yeah. And not only have you done it latte colour, you've done two tone latte and white. Yeah. Because, you know, that's the, 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 the foam on the top. Although you've I'm done it upside down. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got an upside down coffin. Well, I'll, I'll take that, Simon, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's rescued me again. <laughs> <laughs> we make a good team, don't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm 
going to need that much because I'm only going to do a little bit. You just need to do the, 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 the one diagonal direction you've not yes. done. Yes, yeah. So I'll squeeze it down to the bottom, snip the end. Right, I went that way, so we'll go, we'll go this way then, all right? You'll make it. I'll make it to the end then, Will. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> so I've made it, sorry, it's a, it's, a, it's a fattening cake now. It's got that extra layer of icing on that, but that's just killed it now, hasn't it? Eh? Yeah, that's perfect now. <laughs> so there we have the vanilla latte cake with vanilla latte, latte icing on it. And I have coloured the top one. Uh, the, the latte coloured but you could do all of that latte like I was supposed to but as it is I've got a, a two-tone cake yeah, there yeah no, that's which is perfect all right. that. you, you like, like to say it's coffee and cream isn't it absolutely so for those ladies thank you Lynn for, for that point yeah I'm saying that it's coffee and cream I'll take that I'll take <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> right so just for those people who may be late in joining us We have the PME, am I, or am I in the centre there, Simon? Yep. We have the okay. PME airbrush in stock again. And Carol has very kindly sweet talked the man at PME and he has sent all the three colours as a free gift again. So you have the gold, the pearl, and the bronze. And they will be your free gift automatically added to your PME airbrush. Once this stock is gone, we don't know if we'll get any more free colours in because we, we've been really, really lucky in what he's sent us. So if you do want it with the free colours, get your order in as quick as you can. And... Oh. Little Rollies. Are those Little Rollies, Karen? These are Little Rollies. And um, Carol's going to be demonstrating Little Rollies. So, the Little Rollies. Carol's managed, Carol and John's managed to source some more and they very kindly, they've flown them in, they've air freighted them in, but they won't be arriving with us for about three weeks. Now, if they get stuck at customs, it could be four weeks. But to keep the price at £22.99 as the, um, the air freight was so expensive, you're getting one handle, one pack with a handle in it and three sponges and you're getting a refill that's just got the three sponges in it. So you're getting six sponges, one handle for £22.99. Now you only need one handle really because you, as you change your colours or, or whatever you're doing you can just put one in the wash and use another use another sponge. Carol says please can you read the description on the website clearly. It clearly states that if you do put anything else into your basket that you need really quickly the whole order is going to be dispatched together. It could be four weeks so if you needed something for next week please place a separate order. We can't accept any phone calls at the office saying, please, can you just take this out? Can you just send that out? We're so busy and with the social distancing, we cannot go and get your order and start sending bits out and holding on to your order ready for your little rolly. Place two separate orders. Place one order for your little rolly and then place another order for the things that you need desperately. If you don't need them desperately, they will just wait and everything will be dispatched together. So if you want free shipping, you're going to have to wait for your other items. Yes. So, but you can add to it. I can add to your little rolly and get yeah. you still get your free shipping. But you won't get. But your you whole won't order. get the, them items till the little rolly comes into stock. Yeah, which could be as long as four weeks. We're hoping it's only going to be two to three weeks. But you never know at customs if something bobs up at customs. Yeah. It could take a bit longer, especially with everything that's going on at the airports now, with the, with how strict they are with everything coming in. But they're back in stock. Get them while you can. They're brilliant and Carol is going to be demonstrating these as we're going along. I think she's even doing a demonstration on, on Cake, the Cake Flicks, Flicks on, tomorrow. Which is another thing. Join Carol on Cake Flicks tomorrow. I think it's 8 o'clock on Cake Flicks and she's going to be actually using the little roller on the Cake Flicks. So please 
everyone join in, give us some support, give us some lovely feedback. And she does get very excited when she uses it, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah. And she does, she, you know she loves a little lonely. So please, please tune in tomorrow at 8 o'clock to watch her because we love watching all the comments of, and you've all joined us, it's great. I'll be watching it and I'll be doing some comments as well and I'll try and answer some questions as we're going along if, anybody, if everybody's got any questions about the, the demonstration. So, on that note, thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure. All the recipes that I've done today are on the website. The vanilla latte cake will be on very shortly, but the lemon spiced cake is on the, on the website. And thank you so much for joining us, and I will see you Monday. Carol will see you tomorrow night. Simon will see you tomorrow night. I'm off. You just point out, I can't actually see you. I can't see into your kitchen. <laughs> no, if, if, <laughs> but people are getting frightened. You <laughs> really can't see into kitchens, boy. <laughs> Simon will be with you. I he can't be, see you in your PJs. He'll be, be doing his lovely, but you can't see into mine. He'll be doing his lovely, his lovely camera skills and he'll be trying to answer comments and I'll try to answer comments. Apparently I've missed a few questions, Debbie. What are you talking about? But Debbie said you missed some questions. Yes, I am on camera, so there isn't anybody like on questions There's today. There's nobody on questions, I know. It's so a... I can only I can only see what I can see when I'm not I'm not watching the cameras. When, you, when he's not trying to get me in focus. So, <laughs> um, yeah. so sorry if I've missed anything. I will try and answer some questions as I go along. I'll look at the live later on and I'll try and answer any so, yes. questions. The questions will be answered. Yeah. So your questions won't go unanswered. No. It's just you can't always get them answered at the time because, well, we're quite busy. Well, we are. We're very busy. And Carol would have been in here doing comments today, but she's really busy doing a load of web work. So I couldn't ask her to disturb her. And she's trying to get ready for tomorrow night as well. So on that note, I'd like to say thank you. I'll see you all Monday morning at half 11. Do you know what you're making Monday morning? Haven't the foggiest. <laughs> If anybody has got any suggestions, you can put it on the end of this live because I will be looking at this live and uh, I'll see if I can, uh, if you've got anything that you specifically want me to do. I don't mind, as long as it's not, please, not a 3 2 iced wedding cake. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, you've got some cakes ready Just, to come out. Should we, yeah. should we wait and see what they look Absolutely. like? Absolutely. This is the lemon spice slice. It's ready, and that did 25 minutes. So on Saturday, yes, it will be on the Cake Flix website. So can you see that all right, Simon, there? Yeah. So as you can see, it doesn't rise greatly because it's, it's a very dense cake. That's why you only need a little piece because it's, uh, it's got the sultanas, it's got the oats in it, it's got the wholemeal flour, the plain flour, the eggs. So it doesn't rise greatly. But that's how it turns out. You tip that it smells out. really nice. <laughs> it, it really does, doesn't it? So just tip it out, once it cook, let it cool in the pan for 10 to 15 minutes and then tip it upside down and then you can ice the bottom because the bottom is it's really flat so then you'd be better just icing the bottom. Excellent. So you've got quite a few suggestions for Monday, which you can read through. Are they frightening ones, Simon? Oh, <laughs> let's read a few. Swiss roll, please. Checker cake. Another Swiss roll. Gingerbread. Carrot cake. Red velvet cakes. Another Swiss roll. I've not done Swiss roll for years. I've, oh. not, I've really not done Swiss roll for years, and I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to do that because they, I think the last time I did a Swiss roll. You know, it's a nice challenge for you then. I think it was in school. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, school like? Like, in, like 30, 35 years ago school? No, or? 40 years ago school. <laughs> <laughs> I was in school probably 45 years ago. You know, it's, um, oh, wow. I'll have a look at a Swiss roll recipe and I will maybe have a practice over the weekend because I'm not, I, I can't do a carol. I can't just go live because I am just mortified if it just doesn't turn out, it turns out like a crisp bread because you're all laugh. <laughs> so I will have a go. Excellent. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for all the lovely comments. And don't oh, we've got to like and share. Again. Oh, yes. I know. I wish, like, have we got something to, to give out as well? That's what I was supposed to do, sort me out uh, a prize last time, wasn't she? Yes. So I'm sure you will bear with us. Yes. And you won't go without your prizes. We'll, we'll draw them 
at some point. Yeah, hopefully, I'll, I'll probably on, the, if you do a like and share today, uh, we'll draw that next Friday, but for last Monday's like well, and share. So how do we get the handle off the little rolly? Very easily. Yes. It's, yeah, you need a little bit of strength. I'm just going to so, do this one. Oh, I don't need to, we're just going to get carols without, without ruining that packet. Just to point out, Maureen, that, that oh, Karen was at school, weren't you working at school at one point? Oh, yeah, but I've not done a, I've not done a Swiss roll, I've, I've never made Swiss roll for school dinners. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Oh, right. That's what I didn't know, whether she was at, yeah. whether it was when she was cooking at school. It's or when, I was when, doing, when I was doing domestic science, do you all remember that, domestic science? <laughs> Yeah, because we never made fish rolls in for the school dinners because we just used to buy them in. Yeah, so, it's just uh, too faffy, isn't it? It was, it was a lot of faffing. So, uh, her man was like with domestic science like 45 years ago. Oh, good grief. So, I will practice. So, a little rolling. You've got your roller on. All you want to do, hold on to the end. Oh, wait, are we on that one there, Simon? You are on that Hold one. on to the end and just pull. So, you make sure the one with the, the piece of plastic sticking out is the one that goes onto the roller and it clicks on. So just hold the end, don't try and pull it with the end of the handle because you'll break your handle. Hold the very end there and just pull it off. Just grip and pull. Is that all right? Yep, I think that's... Um, Does that answer someone's question? Yes, that, that was Barbara and Ford. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so there was a nice back pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Us. Thank you very pleasure. much, yes. And thank you, Simon, for your camera skills. And we'll see you on Monday. Right, thank you. Bye. Right, bye.